how to get the ball more in soccer as a winger. Yes, we're covering the winger position or more out wide position. How you can get the ball more so that you can be more effective. That's coming up next. Hi there, welcome to Simply Soccer. My name is Dave, if you're new to the channel where we are helping you improve your game and stand out on the pitch. And today we are talking about wingers. Now, one thing I wanna mention before we get started, if you really wanna start standing out in this position, please check out my course, my training course, Ultimate Soccer Skills, which is gonna help you with so many areas that wingers need to be good at. You can actually get it for a discount down below in the description. Now, without further ado, we're gonna go over five ways you can start getting the ball more as a winger. Let's start in reverse order with number five. So number five is obviously the one we need to get out of the way first and foremost because we have to mention it because some players just need to be reminded of this all the time because a lot of players just don't do it enough and it's simply call for the ball. When you are open, when you're making the run, when you do the things we're going to be going over in this video, some of the other things, make sure your teammates are aware that you are available. An important distinction here is don't call for it when you're not available. Don't be that player that calls for it no matter what because then your teammates aren't going to take you seriously if you're calling for it when you have like two guys covering you and there's no way you're gonna get the ball. So make sure you're calling for it, especially when you're out wide and you're available and your teammates don't see you. Make yourself known and you'll get the ball more. It works. In fact, guys, in the comments put, I am improving as a winger every day. You know, align to that, confirm that down in the comments if you are a winger or you want to become a better winger. And now we'll move on to number four. And I already alluded to this one a little bit, but it's be out wide available often. The more you can get out wide where the space is and isolate yourself, especially against the right or left back um, in certain phases of the attack, the better. A lot of times you want to be hugging the line so you can take the ball with a bit of space, that first touch, and and drive at the defender or just give yourself enough room to operate. Now, again, and there'll be other situations where this is, isn't the best thing to do, but one of the main things you will be doing is getting out wide often. That is where your primary position is. Um, and so make sure you are available out wide. Sometimes players who aren't used to playing winger, maybe they play striker or midfield and they're put out on the wing. Sometimes they'll come inward a little too much when they need to be available out wide a lot more. So watch some of the best wingers and you'll see that they are wide a lot of times. It doesn't mean they won't be in other positions sometimes, but primarily they are out wide, available for the ball in wide positions as often as they can be. Okay, number three is make penetrating runs down the line and also through the middle, through the back line, and make overlapping runs. You know, as a winger, you at many times in the match will have the ability to make dashing runs, to make, you know, just split second runs where you quickly run in behind, get available, get isolated, get in to score a goal, and so much more. Now, of course, you're not going to be going in the center finding pockets of space as much. Um, this is something you can do a little bit, but that will probably be taking up of space your midfielders are trying to occupy but there'll be many times when you can split the defense for example the right back and the center back get the ball through them and go on the outside in order to then whip across in there'll be other times where you can loop your run get in from the, if it's on the weak side, and get in to meet a cross or a through ball there and actually score for yourself. So make sure you are making these runs, these out wide runs to get the crosses in, these penetrating runs. And the more you start making these runs, the more you start making the opponents worry. See, if you're not making runs and you're only doing the same thing each and every time, they aren't going to be as challenged by you. You're doing exactly what the defender wants. You know, doing the same thing each time, not making them move, not making them have to worry about if you're gonna make that darting run or running behind or, or even fake the run and check back, which is another thing you want to be doing, making the overlapping runs. So make sure you're making these runs, you're making it difficult on your opposition, and you're getting into these good positions that are going to help you cross or even score yourself. Guys, if this is valuable for you so far, please hit that like button and we'll move on to number two. So number two is crucial if you want to get the ball more and it's be comfortable on the ball so your teammates can actually trust you. Don't lose the ball. You see, if I'm playing in a match and let's say I'm playing center mid and you're on the wing and I keep playing it to you, but every single time I do, like 50% of the time you lose the ball or you do something that's not so smart, I'm going to be a little reluctant to play you the ball. It's going to get in my head a little bit. And so you need to make sure you're comfortable on the ball. I already mentioned ultimate soccer skills, which can help you with this, but you need to work on your ability in tight space is running with the ball, being able to keep the ball, shield the ball, protect the ball on the wing. Sometimes you'll get the ball on the wing and the right or left back will be right on you right away. And you need to know how to keep it in those 
situations. You need to know how to beat opponents effectively so you're not losing it. You need to know how to actually use the ball effectively. And when you demonstrate you can do this, your team will start looking to you to play the ball, especially if the coach is noticing goes, hey, get the ball to whoever, whatever your name is, right? Insert your name here because they're going to do something good. They're not going to lose it. They're reliable. And when you're more reliable, you gain the trust of your team to play you the ball. So make sure you're comfortable on the ball. You're not losing it. Where again, your team doesn't even think twice about giving it to you. And number one is combine and learn to do give and goes and combination plays with your team. You know, this goes for many different positions, but especially on the wing when you have an isolated opponent. And what that means is you're one-on-one -on -one with someone. You're not double teamed. You usually have an isolated opponent. The ability to combine and go around them or fake go around them and come into the middle and combine with your striker or midfielders is plenty. You know, you'll see a lot of wingers actually do this at the professional level, combining, give and goes, little triangles with teammates. And this is something you want to get good at. Um, because it's just going to add another element to your game. It's going to make you even more dangerous because instead of beating the opponent one-on-one, -on -one, maybe you've done that a few times and they're expecting it. Instead, you can fake to do that, pass the ball off maybe to your striker who's checking and then follow for the return ball, the give and go to get in behind. And so you want to be looking for these little combinations that you can make. And it's just another element you can add to your game that's not only going to help you get the ball more in dangerous positions, but it's ultimately just going to make you a more unpredictable and dangerous player. A lot of wingers tend to get very very, very selfish and you need to learn how to combine with your team use your teammates to ultimately help your team get in behind get the good crosses in score the goals or whatever else but learn to combine learn the give and goes learn the overlapping runs um, because this is only going to help you one get the ball more but also get them in those dangerous positions all right that's how to get the ball more as a winger there are some other things you can be doing but if you're doing all of these things and you're giving it your best i guarantee you're going to be getting the ball more and being more effective on the wing Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video, and I'll see you in the next one.